The Italian Nishoka or the Mystic Archives of the Italian is an anime that was part from the summer animes of 2011. It's 12 episodes long and it's a little anime that I guess shows you different mystical stories that has uh, ba been based on ancient history like the mysteries of the ancient Egyptians or Romans or some or stuff like that like Monklands and Bel Belzbub and um, those kind of things that live animes has inspired ideas from to create like a whole story based on over, over that idea now this anime is a bunch of a bunch of short stories every episode has its own story the story starts i guess with huey who his grandfather passed away and told him that you have inherited your grandfather mansion that has a huge collection of valuable books there he meets dalian who is um the keeper one of the keepers of a mystery mystical library called Dentalian and that's why it's called the mystical archives of Dentalian and they go on hunting something called the phantom books the phantom books are a bunch of books that gives people magical power which is forbidden because these are normal people they shouldn't have like the powers to reanimate someone or change something into a monster for example or create a homunculus so they go to hunt these books down whether to destroy them or to keep them in the mystical library of the Dentalian whether they destroyed by enchantments from books from that same library or just burning them or just getting rid of them somehow the anime itself you know I can't say that the 12 episodes kind of gives you a certain story like Ghosty. Ghosty ha had a bunch of stories but they all kind of connected together to give you a final picture. It's not like that but still the anime is really good. I would actually call it a perfect little anime because they timed everything right from the music to the stories. Really great animation and great looking characters and great OST. One of the best parts of this anime is the OST. One of the things also I like this, about this anime is that the characters, they're very gentle-ish. The plot of the anime is in the 1920s, so they portray the characters to just do what the people did in the 1920s. Very gentle, man sort of way, and that's kind of the main character, Huey. He's level-headed, uh, sort of the way even that he talks, it's just very gentleman-ish. And also the rest of the characters like that. Well, Dalian is not like that. If you remember Ghostick, you remember Victorica. She used to just command Kujo everywhere around. And that's what Dalian also does. But unlike um, Ghostick, which had Kujo running around in circles, Huey kind of just let her do what she wants. Like, Yes, yes, all right, I'll go and get your sweet buns that you asked me and he goes to get her her sweet buns because she loves sweets. Something else in common with Victorica from Ghostick. Which brings me to another point about this anime. A lot of people compared this anime and said that it's really similar to Ghostick in the story, the plot, the setting and everything. Ghostick was 24 episodes but every story that happened through the course of the anime connected to a final story so they were all connected even though in the beginning you were just wondering what's happening or what's going on um, and also had a theme based off of books books play a big element in both of the two animes and both of the main characters Victorica and Dalian kind of have like similar personalities so a lot of people directly related these two together and since also they are both um, based on light novels they said wow that's just gonna be interesting so let's give it a try but after watching the ghost Dick and the mystical archives of the Italian those two animes are were very different uh, they were similar similar in elements but different in story that was something and that was something 
so you can't just connect these two together as that they are ha or they're similar. They're very different in a lot of ways. I would say I really like the anime a lot. It's a perfect little anime. Give it a shot. I'm sure a lot of people will like this. And that's it. I'll see you in another video. So take care and stay safe. Bye.